American Revolutionary War Whiskey Rebellion Indian Wars Barbary Wars War of 1812 Patriot War Mexican American War Utah War Cortina Troubles Reform War American Civil War Las Cuevas War Spanish American War Banana Wars Philippine American War Boxer Rebellion Border War World War I Russian Civil War World War I I Cold War Persian Gulf War Somali Civil War Bosnian War Kosovo War Global War on Terrorism Military Deployment After Hurricane Katrina Pakistan United States Skirmishes Other Warrant Officer Enlisted The United States Armed Forces are the military forces of the United States of America. It consists of six forces. The Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, and Coast Guard. The President of the United States is the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and Forms Military Policy with the Department of Defense and Department of Homeland Security. Both Federal Executive Departments acting as the principal organs by which military policy is carried out. All six armed services are among the eight uniformed services of the United States. From its inception during the American Revolutionary War, the U.S. armed forces have played a decisive role in the history of the United States. It helped forge a sense of national unity and identity through its victories in the First Barbary War and the Second Barbary War. It played a critical role in the American Civil War, keeping the Confederacy from seceding from the Republic. The National Security Act of 1947, adopted following World War II, created the modern U.S. military framework. The act established the National Military Establishment, headed by the Secretary of Defense, and created the United States Air Force and the National Security Council. It was amended in 1949 renaming the National Military Establishment the Department of Defense, and merged the cabinet-level Department of the Army, Department of the Navy, and Department of the Air Force, into the Department of Defense. The U.S. Armed Forces are one of the largest military forces in terms of personnel. It draws its personnel from a large pool of paid volunteers. Although conscription has been used in the past, it has not been used since 1973. The selective service system retains the power to conscript males, and requires that all male citizens and residents residing in the U.S. between the ages of 18 to 25 register with the service. The U.S. armed forces are considered the world's most powerful military. The military budget of the United States was $693 billion in 2019, the highest in the world. In 2018, that accounted for 36% of the world's defense expenditures. The U.S. Armed Forces has significant capabilities in both defense and power projection due to its large budget, resulting in advanced and powerful technologies which enables a widespread deployment of the force around the world, including around 800 military bases outside the United States. The U.S. Air Force is the world's largest air force. The U.S. Navy is the world's largest navy by tonnage, and the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps combined are the world's second largest air arm. In terms of size, the U.S. Coast Guard is the world's 12th largest maritime force. The U.S. as of FY2019 has about 14,061 aircraft in its military inventory. The U.S. Space Force is the world's first and, as of 2021, only independent space force. The history of the U.S. armed forces dates to the 14th of June 1775, with the creation of the Continental Army. Even before the Declaration of Independence marked the establishment of the United States, the Continental Navy, established on the 13th of October 1775, and Continental Marines, established on the 10th of November 1775 were created in close succession by the Second Continental Congress in order to defend the new nation against the British Empire in the American Revolutionary War. These forces demobilized in 1784 after the Treaty of Paris ended the War for Independence. The Congress of the Confederation created the current United States Army on 3 June 1784. The United States Congress created the current United States Navy on the 27th of March 1794 and the current United States Marine Corps on the 11th of July 1798.
All three services trace their origins to their respective continental predecessors. The 1787 adoption of the Constitution gave the Congress the power to raise and support armies, to provide and maintain a navy, and to make rules for the government and regulation of the land and naval forces, as well as the power to declare war. The President as the U.S. Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief. The United States Coast Guard traces its origin to the founding of the Revenue Cutter Service on 4. August 1790 which merged with the United States Life Saving Service on 28 January 1915 to establish the Coast Guard. The United States Air Force was established as an independent service on 18 September 1947. It traces its origin to the formation of the Aeronautical Division, U.S. Signal Corps, which was formed 1 August 1907 and was part of the Army Air Force.